Linux and gaming haven't always been the best couple, but that's changing fast thanks to things like Proton and the many Linux distros for gaming that are out there. While technically any Linux distro can play games, some are definitely better than others. So we've gathered seven of the best Linux gaming distros you can use in 2018. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is 7 Best Linux Distros for Gaming 2018. Not that many people associate Linux with gaming, but the times are changing and big dogs in the industry are coming up with clever ways to make games tick on the platforms. Wine is compatible with more games than ever these days and Valve may be on the verge of a Linux gaming revolution with Proton, which lets you run native Windows games in Linux via Steam. The only thing that can hamper the experience is the Linux distro itself. While technically any Linux distro may be used for gaming, there are some distros specifically optimised for gaming. Here are our favourites of 2018. Solus. Solus is an elegant all-round Linux distro, pre-packaged with plenty of useful software to get you up and running quickly, but it also has a secret trick up its sleeve, LSI or Linux Stream Integration. What this means is that it replaces the Steam runtime, letting Steam work with the libraries already on your system, rather than those that come packed with Steam. And what does that mean? It increases both game stability and performance, two of the most important considerations when gaming, and the results are impressive. You can expect substantial frame rate gains across many games compared to a typical distro, and of course you can take advantage of Valve's Proton technology to play an ever-growing repertoire of Windows games on Linux. Ubuntu It may seem like an obvious choice, but when Valve, the owner of the world's biggest gaming platform, recommends something as the best Linux distro for gaming, it's on us to at least hear what they have to say. While you can more or less use Steam on any Linux distro, you're bound to encounter certain distro specific issues at some point, or in some cases even have to compile the Steam dependencies yourself. Ubuntu makes things very stable and simple. Ubuntu isn't exactly a lightweight distro, but it's the most popular for a reason, and its repositories are right at the front of the queue when it comes to graphics card, driver updates, Steam client updates and stability improvements. It's a reliable distro that gives you plenty of flexibility and works brilliantly with Proton, Valve's ambitious project that lets you play an ever-growing number of native Windows games on Linux. Think of it as the new wine. Ubuntu Game Pack If you want to go with more of a complete package gaming distro, you should try the Ubuntu Game Pack. As its creators claim, it will provide a guaranteed start in thousands of games and applications for MS Windows and MS DOS, and original design specifically for GNU Linux platform. The distro comes with Steam, Play on Linux, Lutris, Wine, Crossover, DOSBox, and DOSEMU, and many more game environments. It hasn't been updated for a few months at the time of writing though, and doesn't yet have Proton built into it, which means it's a little outdated as things stand. Ubuntu Game Pack also comes with Adobe Flash, so if you want to play Flash games online, this is possible too. Despite its power, Ubuntu Game Pack doesn't require very powerful hardware, which makes it perfect for older machines as well. SteamOS For many Linux gamers, SteamOS is the best Linux gaming distro. It doesn't support as many hardware devices as the other distros, and that is why it comes here on this list. It requires at least 4GB of RAM, which is certainly not much, but if you want to turn your old machine into a gaming station, this is likely to happen. SteamOS is based on Debian, and it comes with Steam pre-installed. Steam is a proprietary gaming platform, hosting the vast majority of games you can get on Linux. Any game you can get through Steam is multi-platform, so if you already own the Windows version, then the Linux version will automatically pop up in your library. Admittedly, SteamOS hasn't gained as much traction as Valve would have hoped, particularly on the hardware front as Steam machines, which ran SteamOS, have all but failed. Still, if you're after a dedicated gaming Linux distro, then this is the best choice. Sparky Linux Sparky Linux is also a popular choice for a Linux gaming distro. It's based on the testing branch of Debian, which might be the latest and greatest, but we have our doubts about stability. It's a testing branch after all. Sparky Linux favours light desktop environments such as LXDE, Enlightenment, JWM, KDE, LXQT, Openbox, Mate and XFCE. This is great because when games themselves load the machine, the last thing you want is a resource-hungry desktop environment. 
when you run Sparky Linux, you can play right away, though as its creators themselves state, Sparky Linux isn't targeted at Linux beginners, so be prepared in the beginning, as there may be a slight or not so slight learning curve. M-Game we included M-Game, or Manjaro Gaming Edition, on this list because it is an Arch-based distro, and we know Arch has fans among our readers. M-Game is a good choice for novice users. It comes with Play on Linux and Wine, lots of emulators, Desmumi, Dolphin Emulator, DOSBox, FCUX, Kega Fusion, PCSXR, PCSX2, PPSSPP, RetroArch, Stellar, VBAM, Yabbaus, how do you say that? And ZSNES, and terminal add ons such as Colors, I Love Candy, and Screen Fetch. The default theme is set to dark, but you can change it if you like. Lacquer. All retro gamers will love Lacquer. This distro is a bit different from the rest. It turns your computer into a retro game console. It's lightweight, with minimal hardware requirements. Lacquer is based on the RetroArch emulator and it can emulate numerous systems. It also has automatic joypad recognition, rewinding, netplay and shaders. Lacquer is also a great option for setting emulators on a Raspberry Pi device. Lacquer runs from a USB and the install is only about 300 megabytes. Conclusion. These distros are what we consider the best for gaming on Linux. Of course, tastes differ, and it doesn't mean you'll think the same. It's nice there are a few more to consider if these distros are not good for you. You can also check out GameDrift Linux. There used to be one more, but Play Linux has been discontinued. Still, there is quite a lot of choice of Linux gaming distros, and chances are your favorite games will run in any one of them. If so, if you like this video, then please, Gently tap that like button, leave a comment, and also visit our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials, and lists about all things tech. We cover Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, and everything in between, so we will almost certainly have something for you. Plus, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button and never miss our latest videos. And for extra credit, please hit the notification bell too to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time.